Hey my fellow monsters, welcome to my channel. I'm Lydia, aka Mama Monster, and here we do everything horror. So I know, I lied. I was supposed to come back, and then I didn't. Um, I have some explaining to do. You remember how I said I moved back from Germany, and then I was getting settled in, and I was doing school, and I was stressed, and blah blah blah. Well, I still did school this summer, and I was still stressed. <laughs> It was a lot of work because it was fast paced. I did this last summer and I did it again. I don't know why I did that to myself, but I did it. Um, also, I moved again into a new place. So that also took my time. But I do have three videos that I still need to edit. I did a birthday vlog back in June for my birthday. Um, also, I went to Colorado in July. So I did a vlog for that too. Spooky vibes, of course. And then my Funko collection that I keep talking about that I haven't edited and blah, blah, blah. So yeah. Those are coming. Also, I'm holding my mic. Hopefully it doesn't bug you guys. I just don't have all my stuff set up or I don't even know where everything is right now. Um, this is just temporary, but I will get there sooner or later. But we are not here to talk about that. Today we are here to talk about my good friend, John Turner. He is from New England, home of horror. He is also the co-founder of Check the Candy Podcast and Backyard Horror. Um, he is releasing a new film, his second film tomorrow, which is August 26th. Um, he was nice enough to let me have a screener so we are talking about that today we are reviewing it and i am excited to talk about it so if you like to hear my thoughts grab a snack maybe a drink and let's get into it Two criminals travel to northern Maine to seek out a famous artifact in hopes for a big payday. Things take a dark turn when they accidentally help a cult unleash an ancient demon with plans to create hell on earth. So if you don't follow John, you definitely should because you're missing out. He is one creative individual. Um, he is one of my closest friends here in the horror community. And we've done a lot of collabs and he's just a great person and very talented. So like I said, Devils Are We, it is his second short film. Um, he released his first one about two years ago here on YouTube. It is called Worm. I will link that down below too because you need to check it out. That film, his budget was about $100 and he did an amazing job. Um, I remember when it released me, my son watched it twice back back to back i didn't know i would enjoy it because of all the creative content he puts on his instagram but when i saw that i was really amazed and i already knew he was going to go places and this movie devils are we he is just showing his progression and i'm so proud of him um the budget for this film was a little over three thousand dollars and oh my gosh it was so much fun it is about an hour long um he is based out of maine so one thing I will say about this film is the scenery is so beautiful. I'm jealous. I've never been to Maine, but just seeing these um, shots and even stuff he posts on his Instagram just shows how beautiful it is out there. But they show that in this film, some of the shots are in the snow, some are just like in the nature and it's just beautiful. I mean, honestly, some of the shots just looks like it's fake but it's not that's how pretty it is some of the angles and the shots were done just in a very creative way in this film they even have a bird's eye view which is like one of my favorite shots in any type of movie and it was just absolutely gorgeous also the changing through the film with the lighting and the color scheme was um just very well done in my opinion as well um there's this part at the end of the film um the lighting is just like pretty psychedelic is like my only way to explain it and i just thought it was so dope so one of my favorite things about this film was the sound design i think eh, it was amazing i think they did such a good job and i was really impressed by it and also the music it was done by john and christopher scott and i'm not gonna lie i was jamming throughout the whole time <laughs> throughout the film i was like okay okay i feel you so like the synopsis says it is following two criminals which i really like that direction they took instead of um the main character being like you know just innocent or a hero or anything like that um that's as much as i want to get into it because i don't want to ruin anything or spoil anything like you guys just have to watch it but i will say that um everybody did a really good job with their roles with these characters they knew how to build tension i feel like there's a lot of funny parts in it as well i also think the editing was done very well john's wife did hair and makeup and she did such a good job and also like the costume designs were so good so good the people in the cult like their mask and their looks and everything were like genuinely creepy the practical effects were 
chef's kiss um john told me that everybody helped out with that and i honestly think they did such a good job one of my favorite things about horror is obviously the gore and the guts and all that good stuff um i just love how creative people can get with eh, you know um i love just seeing the practical effects and how they can make something look so realistic and gross you know and i think they did such a good job with that one of the last things i want to mention are the props that are in this film i really do think they helped this film come together and i was when i saw it i was like whoa like where do these come from like did he just like pick these up at a random store but come to find out eric from he's crafty here on youtube created these for the film and i will link his stuff down below too um wow he is very very talented so yeah so overall i really enjoyed this film it was such a great time can't wait for you guys to see it um like i said august 26th tomorrow and if you're not following him you better follow him because you're missing out he has a bright future he really does so thank you guys for listening to my review and i promise i'll start posting some more don't forget to like share comment subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know every time i upload my social media will be linked down below i would love to have you over there especially instagram it's always a great time chatting and meeting with new friends so yeah, until next time. Bye.